Hi everyone, it's Sonia Farrell here from All Heart by Sonia Farrell. Um, good to see you here today. Thank you for joining me. I am just going to have a quick chat about an artwork that's about to head away to its forever home. So I'm very excited about it. It's an inspirational piece. Um, and um, you'll see that it features like two dandelion heads on a very sort of pale blue background. Um, and the wind is just coming and it's starting to release those uh, seed head floaters and the seed head floaters um, feature like a little flame. So those are all elements that um, have been inspired and I'd like to just chat um, with you uh, just about those, the inspiration behind all those elements. Um, it is a commissioned artwork from a friend to a friend and um, uh, and it's, it's like there's a lot of depth and um, richness in that friendship um, so uh, it's just beautiful to be able to capture that and, and actually to be part of this um, beautiful um, demonstration of, uh, of companionship and love and, and sisterhood so that's really lovely um, so I'm going to just go through some elements so um, it is an inspirational piece I am a Christian and um, my inspirational pieces are based very much on biblical and Christian principles so uh, um, this is, is truly, um, in some instances, people might call it a prophetic artwork. Uh, it's inspirational. It edifies um, the church and the people, not necessarily these, but the inspirational pieces I do. So it is all about um, building up, um, you know, our understanding of the Bible and um, acts as uh, what I like to use, um, the term good news on a wall. So it's a visual representation and reminder of everything that we have um, through our relationship with Jesus Christ um, who died for us on the cross so it's a lot of information um, and if you're not sure like if you're not a Christian and you've um, you know you're quite intrigued to find out more well, definitely reach out to me I'm, I'm quite happy to chat to you about that um, and or you know speak to your friend or your local pastor or, or go to your local church to find out more uh, Bible preaching church um, anyway so back to this artwork um, it is. Uh, it was one that uh, came about through a lot of conversation. Uh, once the commission had been uh, secured, and um, it, like the 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 content of being a dandelion head, seed head was very pertinent to the relationship between uh, these two people. And um, so uh, I had been in prayer, asking the Lord for um, guidance in terms of the content, getting. Um, you know, capturing what he wants to say, you know, what the Lord Jesus wants to say through the artwork into the relationship um, and uh, with prayer with the lovely lady who commissioned the artwork, um, we basically released um, setting, a, putting it, <laughs> getting it into fruition uh, to the Lord Jesus and just really um, entrusted him through the Holy Spirit to to guide the thought process, the content, the painting, everything. So um, it is truly, um, uh, you know, a submissive piece. It's a piece that um, has not been driven by a specific um, agenda from my behalf. So just really a bit of a leading. Um, so I'm very excited about that. Um, so um, it had been a, a matter of um, a prayer and um, so I really felt um, a release of the artwork um, to the Holy Spirit and um, to the whole process. Um, I also believe that the Lord um, has been guiding the whole composition, the content, the write up, everything. Um, so it started off, um, I don't normally dream, <laughs> so, or maybe I do, but I you know, can't always remember my dreams. But um, this particular uh, morning I dreamt uh, it was just so fleeting that um, there was like this it's almost like the end of season of um, a plant or you know specifically it felt like um, you know plants with a lot of bulbs and um, the leaves were sort of going down already it might have been that they were really stressed um, so it was a really unwell plant sort of thing and this had been separated out and the hands were sort of taking it and planting it into the ground um, so really just um, rejuvenating um, that plant. So that was uh, very clear when I woke up. So because I don't normally remember my dreams, it was like, okay, this is 
something important. Um, I also um, felt over the next couple of days as I was preparing, um, you know, just identity in Christ, knowing who we are as Christians is very important. Um, all of that is depicted in the Bible. So uh, we really as Christians need to know who we are. And that gives us good foundation and good grounding when we're walking our life um, out um, in companionship with the Holy Spirit and with the Lord Jesus. So um, the other thing was also as clothing his righteousness because obviously he's died on the cross. So um, with that uh, death on the cross, there comes... Uh, uh, a transfer of what Jesus had accomplished on that cross across to um, us as Christians. So that um, element has um, is also worked into the artwork. It's also um, an acknowledgement and appreciation for the very special role that um, between uh, these two ladies that have become really uh, lovely friends, um, there is um, this trust, uh, there is a nurturing that's happening, there is this you know um a caring um there is um a, a delving into um not delving but it's like um a sharing of life experiences and so on that just brings out um um elements and and out of that comes growth and and um, nurturing and strength and confidence so it's all about um those elements are sort of built into it as well um, the other thing was um, I felt really guided to put the little flames in the seed head floaters um, in that um, as Christians um, the the artwork is about um, being released out into the um, the world so just to give a bit of background um, the the friendship has come about through a counseling process so um, people that are out there counseling and um, talking into lives of um, fellow believers um, there's a lot that goes on there like there's prayer and there's um, nurturing and um, you know and and really it's almost like a, a building up and I really felt strongly that this um, was like a depiction of that whole process you know where um, there's a coming alongside there's an understanding and then there's a growth and then there's a release um, and that felt like a cycle and I truly felt like that's come out in the artwork and and um, because the gift is to the lady who very much um, was part of the counseling process that was sort of um, doing the guiding um, this artwork is really just celebrating um, that amazing work that happens because you know it's even the Bible talks about having, you know, um, where two or more gathered and that sort of thing. So it's all about that nurturing uh, and uh, that the Christian principles, the the releasing. Um, I also used salt in the artwork, um, a technique I don't often use, but uh, it was something that I was trying to uh, achieve in the background, and I used the salt um, technique and. It is only in hindsight that I realized that, you know, uh, as Christians, we are salt and light. So it's actually pulled together those two elements. So I hadn't actually intended saying, oh, I need to do something with salt because we're salt and light. It just ha ha basically happened. So it pretty much is bringing in the salt and light aspect um, in that. Um, and then there are uh, particular scriptures that um, have been um really pulled into the artwork such as Ecclesiastes 3 where it talks about there's a time and a season for everything so that's really you know the whole process of um, going into a time of um, growing and then releasing um, so there are some symbolism in the artwork so the two dandelions represent the two friends um, so I'll just um, yeah so the two dandelions represent the two friends um, the Differing seasonal cycles, so you'll see that this art, this um, dandelion head is basically at its maturity. This one has gone um, into its maturity and is releasing. Um, so it's 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 actually um, doing what it is intended to do. So um, this is why dandelions exist to to be a flower to pop up their seed heads and then release. So this is actually 
it doing what it's meant to do. And that's really um, all the Lord really expects of us as Christians is to do what we are expected to do or, or what we what we built to do. Um, so, you know, roses aren't meant to be tomatoes and, you know, <laughs> sounds really weird. I don't know why I said that. But it's basically saying, you know, if you're a rose, you're a rose and go be a rose. If you're a tomato, you know, grow and be a tomato and, 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 uh, uh, f you know, fulfill what you were intended to do. And that understanding what you were intended to do is actually a relationship that you have um, with um, with the Father. That helps you um, define that. So, all right. So the two dandelions, we've got the seasonal cycles. Um, there's five seed head floaters. So in, um, um, there are uh, real um, key elements of numbers, um, so in um, Christian language, um, grace is uh, depicted by the number five. It's like uh, what Jesus did on the cross. So the five seed head floaters are really just a, a reiteration of that in an intuitive way. Um, the twirling lines around the seed head floaters are actually um, indicative of the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit coming in and breathing life into um, uh, the, the activity of the release. And that in that breathing of life, there is also the releasing of the fire. So um, those little flames that were just little burning embers are now fanned into flame and they're now actually um, going forth and, and being light in the world. So I'm very excited about this artwork. It's just been such an amazing process and I've really enjoyed doing this um, artwork with um, the lady who commissioned it. So just, just really have enjoyed um, doing this. Um, in terms of colors, so there's a lot of um, intuition and uh, intuitive understanding of colors. So blue being um, sort of um, the presence of God, being, um, you know, healing. Um, there is also aqua, so there's a deep sort of uh, colors of aqua coming through, which talks about revelation and sanctification. Um, the white is innocence and uh, purity and hope. Um, the orange um, that's in the seed head, um, little flames, as well as on the little seeds, there's like little drops of orange. Those are in, uh, in indicative of like uh, potential and um, really uh, just... Um, uh, yeah, so it's, it's more about that... Um, the potential and the endurance um, strength so it's just the orange is like that strength um, look at a beautiful sunset it's just like this strength in that beautiful glory colors um, the uh, orange and the very fine dots in the center of the star like wispiness of the seeds um, they are talking about um, you know the potential of living a kingdom life um, um, in in Jesus's finished work so uh, it's there for us to to grasp um, as Christians um, to know who we are as as Christians and uh, and what um, you know the finished work that Jesus has done on the cross for us. Um, the uh, metallic finishes um, that you see there are also indicative of like the armor of God. So as Christians, we are encouraged in Ephesians six to wear the armor of God to put it on, um, and then you know that element goes out with us as we're doing our life um, and then you'll just see on the um, artwork as well there are sort of um, runs and those are um, sort of indicative of um, more of a, a flow uh, tears of joy the release the sort of celebration like an anointing so that is um, everything in a nutshell um, I really enjoy doing this piece. It's really got a lot in it. It presents quite simply, but it's got a lot of depth in it. And um, the, the, the significance of the little plant, the, the dandelion plant, um, in that relationship is very pertinent. So um, we just, I just pray a release into um, this artwork as it goes out. Um, and and just trust the Holy Spirit um, as He has said He would um, to do His good work through um, the work. I I feel very honoured to have been invited to do this artwork and um, being able to participate and get a glimpse into that relationship um, 
through doing the artwork. Um, it just gives me an appreciation for uh, people that are um, acting as mentors, um, people that act as counselors, leaders um, in the church, like all those um, people that have such a significant role in the church um, do um, play a significant role in um, growing the body of Christ and releasing them into their intended kingdom assignment. So thank you very much for listening. I have been waffling, but I do apologize for that. I get very excited. Then, then it's like, oh, there's so much in there and I've got to like share it all. Um, but it has been a pleasure to do this artwork and I've really enjoyed the project. And um, I just pray um, the Lord's Spirit goes with the artwork that continues to, and that um, through Jesus, that relationship continues to be strong and growing and rich and full and blessed. And um, God bless you as well. All the very best. See you later. Bye-bye.